Hey viewers, welcome to my orchid world. Today I have brought to you a request video by one of my viewers. It is about primary hybrid orchids. That is primary hybrid phalaenopsis orchids. So what are primary hybrid phalaenopsis orchids? Well, these are those hybrid phalaenopsis orchids which have been crossbred between two species phalaenopsis orchids and the those which are crossbred between one species and one hybrid parent are called complex hybrids so i will be referring to both in this video we will try to see how are these two phalaenopsis orchids same and different at the same time so let us start primary hybrid phalaenopsis need medium amount of light just like complex hybrid phalaenopsis but they can tolerate brighter light even though they do not uh, need it prolonged exposure will cause sunburn in the leaves but at a slower pace than that of complex hybrids that means that primary hybrids are more tolerant of heat which is understandable from the fact that they have been crossbred from species Primary hybrids need a bit of more water than complex hybrids. I have quite a number of primary hybrids since last few years and from my experience I can say that primary hybrids need more water than normal complex hybrid Phalaenopsis orchids. Another noteworthy fact is that whereas complex hybrids are prone to root rot and eventually crown rot if they sit on water for a long time primary hybrids can tolerate this type of conditions better they can tolerate wet feet for long periods and are not that prone to root rot or crown rot that easily primary hybrids need more humidity than those complex hybrid phalaenopsis orchids Normal hybrid phalaenopsis orchids will do well in medium amount of humidity whereas uh, our primary hybrids will need a little bit of more humidity than complex hybrids. So in drier conditions on drier days use a humidity tray for your primary hybrid phalaenopsis orchids. Primary hybrids grow in the summer months which usually last for 7 to 8 months nowadays due to climate change spring season has almost got merged into summer. During the summer months primary hybrids grow new leaves, new roots and they grow in terms of height and size. As temperature cools down towards say end of November I use the bloom booster for my primary hybrids as well as those complex hybrids after two or three applications spikes start appearing the number of spike increases as the orchid ages just like the complex hybrids spikes appear from leaf joints and from either side of the stem roots usually grow from the lateral position of the stem blooms start opening as temperature starts receding that is towards end of january the blooms can last up to three months depending upon the temperature and watering and overall maintenance of the orchid how you maintain your orchid so this is the sogo relax which has almost crossed three months now it is still blooming some of the uh, blooms have fallen off but most of them are still there now let us talk about the price of the primary hybrid phalaenopsis as i should be honest primary hybrids are a bit pricey as compared to the complex hybrids they are collectible orchids and are known for their blooms and as well as their fragrances they are quite popular among orchid lovers and have been known also for their beautiful blooms and also the uncommon colors if I should compare the prices of primary hybrids with complex hybrids, I should say they are almost double. Suppose if it's 550 for complex hybrid, for primary hybrids, you will have to pay 
double of it say 1100 or 1200 or more than that so that is all for the primary hybrids in this short video hope you liked it hope you got some idea about primary hybrids and whether you should get one for yourself if you want them for their beautiful blooms and their beautiful fragrances you should go for one definitely thank you for watching